Hello friends and followers. Today is the day of comparison between two best replica of Apple Watch. We will be comparing FK88 and HW12. I'll be using my Huawei Watch GT2 for reference as that watch is fully equipped with all the sensors. So let's get started. Let's quickly unbox both of these watches. This video just got a bit delay because these watches were not available in the market. I have made unboxing, reviewing and teardown videos of FK88 and HW12. The link to them are on the i button above. So without further ado, let's go for a physical test of these watches outside. So we have got all the three watches on my wrist. The first one is Huawei, then comes FK88 and last one is HW12. I am using Huawei watch only for the reference. I will quickly set up the workout mode on all the three watches. Ideally my heart rate is 88 bits per minute on Huawei which is accurate. In FK88 it's showing 76 bits per minute and in HW12 it's 55 bits per minute which is very less. FK88 does have a heart rate sensor which is claimed by company. So today it's going to be the real test. Let's check how true they are. I'll start off with walking and gradually start jogging. As you guys can see, currently my heart rate is 129 bits per minute and FK88 is showing 64 bits per minute and SW12 is 71 bits per minute. Seems like FK88 has disappointed us, but let's keep further testing. Now I have started jogging and let's check the response of both the watches after few minutes. Sorry for the shakiness of the video as I'm holding and recording with my smartphone on the other hand. Has 
so now it's confirmed that it does not have an actual heart rate sensor. Currently my heart rate is 180 bits per minute and FK88 is showing 80 bits and SW12 is showing 88 bits per minute. Now let's check the workout record. I ran 460 meters and FK88 is showing 240 meters and SW12 doesn't have the distance measurement. Total calories I burnt is 71 and in FK88 is showing 20 and in SW12 is just 15. Fastest pace is 5 foot 57 inch per kilometer and in FK88 it's 41 foot 5 inch which is way more and SW12 doesn't have the measurement. Total steps I took was 6 to 1. Total steps I took was 621. In FK88 it doesn't show the steps and in SW12 it's showing 349 steps. Apart from that, my Huawei watch also measures parameters like average speed, average stride, elevation like climb, descent and highest elevation. It also has blood oxygen measurement sensor called as SpO2 which measures percentage of oxygen in my blood and VO2 max which shows the maximum amount of oxygen my body consumed. So if you guys are planning to buy this watch for fitness tracking then they are not the right option. If you want looks like Apple Watch and at a much cheaper price, then this watch could be an option. If you guys find my video useful, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.